Uh, my name is Eric Harless, and I play the drums. I'm Mindy Harless, and I sing. Yeah, we moved to Houston about two and a half years ago, and of course needed to find a church home, and uh, we found Epiphany right away, and uh, attended a few services and decided to stay, and it wasn't too long. We were in the membership classes, and, and not too long after the membership classes, we were in the uh, worship band. And then as far as getting involved in ministry, um, we're not just the type of people who will just come and occupy a, a chair. We've always been involved, but um, so we knew that we wanted to get involved, and the music ministry was just an easy way for us to do that. So I actually started first, um, met with Pam, and talked to her about joining the, the praise band, and I did that for a few months, and then Eric joined um, with percussion. I just have fun doing it. It's just, personally, it's just a lot of fun to be a part of it. I get to play drums on Sunday, you know? <laughs> yeah, that, that's the kind of thing, how I look at it. I could do this. This is kind of cool. With the music ministry, it's just, that's like our um, favorite way to worship and to praise the Lord is, is through the music, and so that's easy. Uh, it is nice to, when... After service is over, people from the congregation say, we're so glad you're up there. Thank you for sharing what you're doing. Um, you really add to our service, things like that. It is nice to get feedback. It is really nice to get feedback. I would say if, it, if it's in your heart and you really want to do it, find someone in leadership to just talk to them about it because... Uh, pastor is always saying, we have a place for you. We want you to share your gifts with us. And um, it just helps us become more of a family. So if you have something to offer, even if it's something new, I know that um, the church leadership is open to hearing that. And they really desire to get people plugged in where, where they want to help out. That's so true that... Uh... There's a place for you here, and it's a, there's a place for you in God's kingdom, for sure. I just want to say something about uh, what's happening today. A lot of preparation goes into today from the kids and, and what they're doing. And, and I happened to be up here yesterday morning for another reason, and I caught a lot of the activity that was going on to set up for today. And all the musicians taking place and all the work you've done, both in this building and off-site to, to bring this about. Um, you all are going to be pleased, I'm sure. Um, all this preparation reminds us of the preparation that this whole season is about. Um, not just us getting ready for Christmas, but the whole point of Christmas, which was God who prepared the whole universe, the whole history, to bring about his son, who would save the world from the sinful damnation we all deserve, and he would take it upon his own shoulders, and then he would rise again to show that he's more powerful than all of our sins. And, and so that preparation from the time of Adam and Eve and their sin all the way to the time of Jesus was a lot as well. And so this whole day, it just brings all that together. And so we give God thanks. And so let us begin and, and give him thanks with our hearts as we hear and respond to this beautiful message again. Gracious Heavenly Father, we thank you for the privilege of being able to be here, for the privilege of music and, and its pleasure that it brings us. And Lord, we ask that you would bless us, that you would bless us with the knowledge that, that Jesus is indeed the Savior of the universe, and you would help this season to be the season of joy that it in, is intended to be. In your name we pray, amen. Thank you. God bless. Good In the beginning was the Word. And the Word was with God. And the Word was God. He was, he was the, the beginning, beginning with God. God. All things came into being through him. And without him, not one thing came into being. What has come into being in him was life. And, and the life was the light of all people. The light shines in the darkness. And the darkness did not overcome it.
Look up. It's a bright new star. Look up. It's a sign. Look up. Something wonderful is about to happen. Look up. God is coming to earth. Look up. Those days, in those days, a decree went out from Emperor Augustus that all the world should be registered. This was the first registration and was taken while Quirinius was governor of Syria. All went to their own towns to be registered. Joseph also went from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea to the city of David called Bethlehem.
She was young. <laughs> she seemed too young to be a mother. And yet there was something about her. A stillness. A calm that made her seem beyond her years. The baby was so small. She held him in her arms. And sang to him. As only a mother can. And he closed his eyes, lulled to sleep by her gentle lullaby. In that region, there were shepherds <laughs> living in the fields, keeping, keeping watch, watch over, over their flocks by night. Then the angel of the Lord stood before them, <clears throat> and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. <laughs> but the angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for see, I bring you good news of great joy for, for all, all the, the people. people. To you is born this day, in the city of David, a Savior, who is the Messiah, the, the Lord. Lord. This will be a sign for you. You will find a child, wrapped in bands of cloth, and, and lying in a manger. And suddenly, there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host, praising, praising God, God and saying, saying
In the time of King Herod, after Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea, wise men from the east came to Jerusalem asking, Where is the child who has been born King of the Jews? We have seen his star and we have come to worship him. When King Herod heard this, he was frightened. And all of Jerusalem with him. Herod knew about the promised Messiah and he wanted the baby destroyed. He called for the wise men and sent them to find the baby, pretending that he too wished to honor the child. The wise men set out, led by the new blazing star overhead, and the star led them to Jesus. They They were were overwhelmed with with joy. The three kings knelt there in that humble place. They opened their treasure chests and offered precious gifts, gold, frankincense, and myrrh. People who walked in darkness have seen a great light. Those who have lived in a land of deep darkness, on them light has shined. For a child has been born to us, a son has been given to us, the government will be on his shoulders. He will be called Wonderful Counselor. He will be called Mighty God. He will be called Everlasting Father. Prince of Peace. At this time, we will receive God's tithes and offerings. Also, if you have any prayer concerns, 
We have some sheets in the back that ushers would be happy to instruct you to if you have any prayer concerns. Uh, you can place those in the offering plate or give them afterward to, to me. Uh, we want to make sure we keep your prayer concerns. But at this time, we have time of offering. May God bless you. It is uh, prayer time at Epiphany. Let's rise for this time of prayer. And I'll say, Lord, in your mercy, and you'll respond, hear our prayer, okay? Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Gracefully, Father, we thank you. 
We thank you for the privilege of music and listening to music and and and, and the different music and the different ways your, your your voice and your word comes to us. Thank you for the many people here today, for the many experiences that led them here to today. Uh, bless them, Lord, in the experiences that come after today. Assure them of your presence and, and, and your will for their lives. Lord, in your mercy. Amen. Lord, we pray for this nation. Uh, it seems like everywhere we turn, it seems like there's more and more division than there is cohesion. And we can be part of the solution or we can be part of the problem. But Lord, you have made us part of the solution. That's what you did when you gave us that gift of grace and forgiveness. So help us wherever we are, whenever we are, to show whose we are that we live under the grace and the love of Jesus Christ and help the forgiveness and, and the mercy which comes from that be the way that we live in this world as we try to help change this world. Lord, in your mercy. Amen. And Lord, we pray for those who are undergoing tyranny of any kind, who don't have freedom such as we have. Bless them, Lord, strengthen them, and help them, Lord, in the ways that you know best. Lord, in your mercy. Amen. We pray for all those we prayed for earlier, those who are struggling with illnesses, those who are grieving over loss, those who are just having difficulties in general, and those we name in our hearts at this time. Help us, Lord, in the midst of everything or anything that we ever go through to realize that we have a Savior who has walked with us in every way yet is without sin. And in Hebrews 4.15, we're told that we can go to this high priest with any concern that we have because you know who we are and you know what we are about. We thank you, Lord, for walking the walk of our lives. We thank you for going the most difficult part of that walk, which was taking the punishment our lives deserve. You did that willingly, sacrificially, humbly, and we are grateful. And here you are this season reminding us of how you came. It should have been an indicator of how you would work. You came as a gentle little baby, and your gentleness would be the way the world would be changed once and for all. Help us, Lord, to be caught up not just in the hoopla of the season, but to be caught up in the Savior of this season. Lord, in your mercy. Amen. And Lord, where there's estrangement in families, where there's difficulties with friends or co-workers, help this to be a time of rejuvenation, a time of restoration, a time of healing a time of doing what only you can do. And if this is the season you choose to do it, then do it through us. Lord, in your mercy. Amen. And to your hands, O Lord, we commend all for whom we pray, trusting your mercy through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. On the night when he was betrayed, our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ took bread. He gave thanks and he broke it. And he gave it to his disciples and said, take and eat, this is my body given for you, this do in remembrance of me. And the same way also after supper, he took the cup. And after he had given thanks, he gave it to his disciples and said, Take and drink, all of you. This is my blood of the covenant, poured out for the forgiveness of all of your sin. This do as oft as you drink it in remembrance of me. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. You may be seated and as we continue on with the worship services. And please come forward as the ushers instruct and invite you.
Arise, shine, for your light has come. Now may this body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ strengthen you and preserve you in grace, in faith, and a life everlasting. And now may you also depart in peace, knowing that the light of the world is with you and God's light is always shining through you. And may you be blessed knowing that this God, this particular God is with you, the God of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Enjoy your Christmas time. And you know when our services are. You can see it posted around here. You're welcome back. Love to have you. God bless you. Take care. Thank you, everybody. Thank you for everything. <laughs>